want to see how I turned this into this, take out your bulkiest items and wear those on the plane. Always use packing cubes. I put all my socks into my sneakers, put them in the packing cube, then I shove some miscellaneous underwear, and then flip-flops on top. And voila, there you go. Always roll your clothes instead of folding them. You'll save a lot of room this way, and it's neat, so you'll be able to get things out of your luggage quicker and easier. Here's how you do the jeans. You take it from the top, fold it over, fold them in half, and start rolling from the bottom. Once you get to the top, you take the flap and you shove your jeans inside, and voila. Here's the final product. I was even able to add my jean jacket, and there you go. How to get away with five carry-ons on any flight. One no hat boxes. Use a necklace like this to hang them from your bag. Ta-da. Use safety pins to add as many as you want. Pin in the middle. Next, make sure you get a personal item that attaches to your suitcase. You'll see why in a minute. Time for secret bag number four. They won't take a bag that looks like you bought it in the gate area. Use it for snacks, extra clothes, or shoes that won't fit in your bag. Take that, Delta. Clip it to your personal item, they won't look inside. One more to go. Now for the final bag. Wear a crossbody under a hoodie or jacket. They can't ask to check under your clothes after TSA. How to pack like a pro. I first start with a list of everything I need. It definitely helps. Then I do all my makeup and beauty essentials and put them in bags on the side that's going to be down. I'll add shoes there as well. Then on the other side, I roll up all of my clothes and things. So it's going to be a little bit lighter there. Then I fill it in and zip it up and then I'm ready to go. I'm going to show you a cool packing hack that I learned when I was a celebrity fashion stylist, repurposing those plastic bags you get from a dry cleaner. This tip will help minimize wrinkles in your clothes when you pack them in your suitcase. So basically what you do is you lay the plastic out flat and then you take your article of clothing and you lay it out as nicely as possible. And then you are going to roll it, making sure there's a layer of plastic in between each layer of fabric. So then you put it in your suitcase and when you unpack, you will have less wrinkles. my airport tip if you are traveling and you need to keep track of all of your stuff wear a fanny pack keep your passports your driver's license your credit card your boarding passes and your phone here so you can always have easy access to it top travel tips six days one carry-on let's go tip number one is to pack everything in the same color palette so you can mix and match Tip two, wear your heaviest clothes and pairs of shoes to the airport. Tip three is this downy wrinkle releaser. Use this on the clothes that you're going to rewear. It's gonna help with wrinkles and it has a fresh scent, so it's gonna make them smell good and last longer. Tip number four is to plan out your outfits. The worst way to pack is to pick out stuff that you usually wear and throw it in the suitcase and hope that you can just mix and match and make whatever work. Plan out your outfits from what you're going to wear to the airport every day down to what you're going to sleep in and what you're going to wear back. And that brings me to tip number five, wear the same thing that you wear on the plane there on the plane back. It, I mean, it's not plane, it's already dirty, you might as well. Suck it down. This is heavy. Things I wish I knew before my first solo trip, and it would be to get a portable charger, something that has a lot of ports, but I can't tell you how many times that I've had to rush home from wherever I was just to go charge my phone because I use maps all day, so yeah. We're on our cross-country road trip, and so I wanted to share a few essentials in case you are planning a road trip right now. Number one, bring headphones in case you and your driver want to listen to something different. Pack food. Sandwiches for lunch, and then we packed some snacks, water bottles, and we have gloves when we get gas, and we also have Lysol wipes and Clorox wipes. I'd also recommend bringing a pillow, and make sure you bring your face mask. Lastly, but most importantly, plan your bathroom breaks accordingly. A lot of the truck stops are open, those are probably the best places to stop, but typical places like restaurants or Starbucks are obviously not.
Here are my tips for packing a suitcase when traveling. First, make sure that you put any products that are gonna leak inside a Ziploc container. This little pouch has all of my makeup and personal products for when I'm traveling. I like that I can keep it in a pouch and still have everything nice and safe in there. These are my other products that might leak and are kept in this plastic container because it's easy to clean if I do have a spill. Then I have all of these cube organizers. These are all of my pants. These are all of my shirts. These are all of my socks and undergarments, as well as my sports bras. They're all file, fold, or file rolled and put in there so that I can see everything and these act like a drawer. Then my shoes are put in here side by side so that I can see them all and they won't get smushed. Hi. So I'm on a layover in Salt Lake City, where it's beautiful, by the way. And I'm getting ready to leave, so I figured I'd give just a few tips on packing if you don't already know how. Ultimately, you can always do it your way, obviously. There's just a few little tips. One of the best ways I've found to fit your clothing in your bag is to roll everything. I have at least four days worth of clothing in here, including gym clothes, as well as my toiletries and two pairs of shoes. And everything fits pretty comfortably. For shoes, I have a little trick. Most hotels offer free shower caps. And if you're not gonna use it for showering, then you can use it for your shoes. It'll help protect your clothing from anything dirty you might have on the bottom. I also like to take care of my bag, so that helps protect your bag too. If you're packing makeup, specifically cream makeup, that you have to keep under 3.4 ounces, go to Sephora and ask for a sample. They're amazing and always give free samples. Or you can use little sample sizes of your favorite stuff, like this one, and just refill them every time you go travel. A big thing is don't overpack. I know your mom said you might poop your pants, but don't have like 10 pairs of underwear. Love you guys. Couple products you can buy at the dollar store. Pick up the set of toothbrush and toothpaste in this plastic case. I love this travel size first aid kit. It's small enough that it fits anywhere and it comes in this nice little carrying case. They have these mini bottles of Pantene shampoo and conditioner that are perfect to have when traveling. This mini deodorant is so tiny and cute, it fit perfect into a purse or makeup bag. Most hotels don't carry mouthwash, and it's always good to have, so look for this little bottle of Crest mouthwash. Keep your skin moisturized with this coconut oil body lotion. And these travel bottles and spray always seem to come in handy. Make storing and packing your bar soap easy with this cute container. It'd be a great idea to pick up some of these mini toothbrushes. They don't even need water. Today's travel tip is a fun one regarding packable hats. I've been getting a lot of questions about how I pack all my hats when I travel. I got this sun visor off of Amazon that can easily roll up to fit into your suitcase or other travel bag. And then another packable sun hat I found at a local store here in Michigan. These fold up so tight that you can take multiples with you on all your travel adventures. Flying with kids can be super hard and overwhelming, but here's my best secrets. Prep. Pack extra carry-on outfits for everyone. Yes, even mom and dad. I use nighttime diapers because they are more absorbent and can help hold in more in case of big blowouts. Diaper bags are free and do not count as one of your carry-on bags or personal items, so bring a big one and bring tons of snacks, games, drinks, etc. I also download a zillion kid shows onto the iPad because options are your best friend. We don't bring our nice stroller because the first time we did, it got completely banged up. So now we have a cheap umbrella stroller that we take and can leave the kids in it until we get onto the plane. I've never bought a ticket for my car seat because honestly, I'm too cheap. And I feel like I'd end up holding my kids anyways because they don't love their car seats. However, oftentimes planes are not at full capacity. So the secret hack is to gate check the car seat and then ask the ticket counter if there are any empty seats on the plane. Usually the workers are super nice and will move you around so that parents can have the extra seat and you can put the car seat there. Or you can just have extra space if you already checked the car seat. Also, if you do check the car seat, ask them to put it in a big bag. All the airlines have them and it will protect the car seat. Before we get on the plane, I let my kids run wild to get out all their energy and almost always I have my babies wear a onesie because it can get cold and I want them to nap and be comfortable. Remember that it's hard and your kids may be terrors, but it's totally worth it when you get there and most people understand and are helpful. Packing Dog Edition. Since we'll be going to Utah and the Grand Canyon while it's cold, we're taking a few little coats for her. I could not decide what bandanas, so I'm taking a lot of them. And two different harnesses. So I put all that stuff in the packing cube. In this bag, I'll be putting her toothbrush, her toothpaste, her little spray, 
um, the training clicker, some extra poop bags, and some of the calming um, balm. In this bag, I'll be taking some of her favorite treats. These little boots for the trails. And then this backpack so we can carry her in. Um, her shot records for the daycare when we will be taking her with us. One of her toys, and that will be all she's taking. Packing tips for vacay with kids. My kids like to have their own suitcase so they can keep up with their own things. I go to the dollar store and get the gallon sized Ziploc bags and I package every day's outfit into a separate bag. That way they can go grab one and get ready for the day. And then I'll put their pajamas and socks in one bag and their bathing suits and undies in a separate bag and it keeps everything super organized. Amazon travel must-haves. This foldable toiletry bag is perfect for staying organized and keeping your liquids and bottles all in one place. It also hangs from anywhere. This jewelry bag is perfect for staying organized and has separate compartments for rings, earrings, necklaces, bracelets, and more. This travel bottle kit comes with four separate bottles, perfect for shampoos and conditioners. It comes with labels as well. Another personal favorite is this makeup organizer, which has separate compartments for all your cosmetics, but also for your makeup palette and your makeup brushes as well. Link in bio to shop.